Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. I'm Julianne and today's video is going to be a massive declutter, organize, and clean with me. So if you guys have some cleaning you need to get done, let's go ahead and get it done together. All right, so first we are going to start out in the master closet. And as you guys can see, I just have a complete disaster going on in here. Honestly, this closet has just gotten out of control. I have just been throwing things in here for quite some time now, and we're gonna go ahead and get it tackled today. I have a ton of things that I just wanna go ahead and get rid of. I am just trying to be more minimal. I am trying to have things that I know that I'm going to use and not just keeping a bunch of junk, which is something that I struggle with because I do put monetary value on to items and I think about how much I paid for it and that I should keep it because one day I might use it. But y'all today, we are gonna be getting rid of so much stuff. All right, so first I am just gonna be taking everything out of the closet and going through it. And as you guys can see, I just have some random stuff in here. Like, why do I have paper towels in here? I don't know y'all, but luckily I needed paper towels and I hadn't picked any up. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take those out to the kitchen. I'm also not gonna be getting rid of any of Camila's stuff that is hung up because I actually went through it. And you guys will see that she does have like a bunch of clothing, but that is because I buy things on clearance. So she has stuff for this summer, fall, winter, and then next summer too. So I've already went through her stuff and I know it looks like a lot, but like I said, I do like to buy things on clearance, which I'm trying to get better about. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through my clothes and some of this stuff I have had for years. I did keep one like, I guess, sentimental item, which was the shirt that you guys like saw me holding up that was white and I was kind of looking at it like, do I really need to keep it or not? But it was the one thing that I kept because it has a really good memory to it. Um, um, but everything else, I went ahead and went through it as best as I could. Um, I know when winter comes, I'm probably going to have more things that I want to go ahead and get rid of. But for now, I actually think I did a good job. I did get rid of a lot of clothing. And I did want to tell you guys about the jeans that I have on here. They're actually from Walmart and I am obsessed with them. I have to tell you guys, it's probably the best $18 that I've ever spent on a pair of jeans, but I think they're like viral right now. I don't know. I saw them on TikTok and then I was like, okay, I need to go try them. And they're the no boundaries, destructed girlfriend jeans. I don't know y'all, they are so good. If I can link them for you guys, I'll try to link them. But if um, they're like out of stock or something, check your local Walmart and they just, they fit so good. I absolutely love them. And I know I'm talking about being more minimal, but if you guys have been here for a while, then you guys do know there's like about three pairs of jeans that I consistently wear. And in this video, I actually get rid of a lot of my jeans that I have that I just don't wear anymore. So I am curious what you guys think when you think minimalist or being minimal because I had a hard time coming up with my thumbnail because I am not sure what I think of minimal. Are other people going to think the same thing? I know that people are probably going to look at the things that I still have and think that is not minimal. You still have a ton of stuff, but to me, it feels very minimal because I'm getting rid of a ton of stuff. So let me know in the comments if you guys think that what I have now is minimal or how do you decide what is a minimal and what is not? Dance 
If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here today. Make sure to say hi in the comments because I do love getting to know you guys. But if you're new here, welcome. I'm Julianne. I am a mama of three. On my channel, you will find tons of real messes with realistic cleaning motivation. I am on the journey of trying to declutter and organize my home. So if you're into that type of content, I would love it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Dance with you, I wanted to, wanted to dance until my feet can feel the ground. So here I'm just organizing all the shirts by color. When you guys are watching decluttering and organizing videos, do you just enjoy the video to only have decluttering and organizing or do you like to have cleaning in there too? Like today I am decluttering and organizing the closet but there will be tons of cleaning later on in this video. I had totally forgotten about this box of toys that I put into my closet for Camila and ever since I got the closet all cleaned out, she has been playing with that box of toys every single day. And I found all this stuff from when I had Camila and you guys, she just turned two. I also had some little onesies like right here. Victoria actually wore that and I guess I put Camila in it maybe a few times too. Let me know in the comments, is it hard for you guys to declutter and organize too? I found myself feeling very overwhelmed while I was doing this. All I can say is taking lots of breaks and not um, being too hard on yourself is much needed if you are getting overwhelmed. I know that I had to take a lot of breaks while I was doing this. I'm not sure what it is. I think that it's just all the amount of stuff that I'm going through. It just is very overwhelming to me, but once I was done, it felt so good. And I'm here just to let you guys know that is normal and I hope to just give you guys some motivation to get some decluttering and organizing done in your home. So we had recently went to California. We actually went at the end of July and I had not taken everything out of the suitcase yet. And that is such a bad habit of mine. I just shoved it into the closet and was like, I'll deal with it later. And that is something that I do that I'm really trying to change. I am one of those people, if I cannot see the mess, if I can shut a door, then I'm kind of out of sight, out of mind. Once I open the door, I'm completely overwhelmed and it like stresses me out. But if I can shut the door and just not look at the mess, then I feel like it's okay to me. And I'm really trying to change that. I have organized and decluttered the kids bedrooms and closets and they have stayed pretty well so far over the last few months so 
I'm really, really trying to change that, but I have a lot of work that I need to do. I have two closets in my house that I need to take care of, and I really need to go through some more toys, and I need to go through my kitchen too. So I hope that you guys are ready for lots of decluttering and organizing videos. Set me up like lemonade, we both know it's bittersweet. So I had two dresser drawers that I went through and I actually cleared a whole entire drawer out and then the other one only has like a few shirts in it. You'll guys see that in a minute. But I also really needed to go through my active wear but y'all I just couldn't get to it today. I was kind of just done with everything that I had completed so I decided that I will go ahead and do that on a different day. Here I'm just quickly going to go through Camila's shoes. Even though I had already went through them, there were a few things that I needed to go ahead and get rid of. So now I'm going to go through my t-shirts and I felt like I got rid of a lot of t-shirts but I'm sure that the longer I'm on this decluttering and organizing journey I will probably get rid of more stuff too. Alright, so out of the two drawers that I decluttered, this is what I have left. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through this bin that I had of things that I was saving, donating, I'm not sure what was up with it, but I decided what I was going to keep and what I was going to donate. I do have some of Victoria's old clothing that I was saving for Camila, and I also just had some sentimental things in here from the kids that I want to go ahead and keep. Now I'm going to vacuum and I'm sure that I had not vacuumed in here for a very long time. I 
So this is how the closet came out. I feel like it looks so much better. I mean, you know, it could look better. It's not Pinterest perfect, but it works for me and it's nice and clean and organized. And I just think it looks way better than it did before. I do have some crafting stuff that I need to still go through. I'm thinking that I'm going to get one of those like three tiered smaller little carts that I want to put all my crafting stuff on but I do need to go through here and see what needs to go into like the Christmas decor and I love to use my Cricut if you guys have been here for a long long time I've done plenty of projects with my Cricut I actually made some super cute Christmas ornaments with my Cricut in one of my Christmas decorating videos it was one of my favorite things that I had Made. And this is all the stuff that I decided that I was going to go ahead and donate and then I'm not going to be doing any cleaning in my bedroom today. I'm just going to vacuum. Alright, so whenever I'm doing a huge organizing project, usually the rest of my house suffers. So now we're going to go ahead and clean up this living room, kitchen, and dining area. I had mentioned in my last video that there was just tons of junk underneath my couch. So we're actually going to go ahead and get that cleaned out today. Alright, so now that I have all the toys picked up, I'm going to move the couch and get all the stuff cleaned up. And I just wanted to give you guys a close up of what all is underneath of this couch. And I wanted to show you guys this apple that I don't know how long it had been underneath there. And honestly, I'm surprised that that is the worst thing that I found underneath of this couch.
All right, now I'm going to quickly vacuum and I did want to let you guys know that I'm going to try to have a fall, well, pre-fall deep clean for you guys. I'm going to try to have it out next week and definitely by the end of the month, I'm going to have out my fall decorating video. I quickly wanted to show you guys this iced coffee that I have been loving. It's the not too sweet cold brew and I was using the Starbucks almond milk and oat milk caramel macchiato coffee creamer and it is so good y'all. I don't know if I'm just late to this or not. I have tried a lot of non-dairy creamers and this is definitely the best non-dairy creamer that I have tried. It is so good. I'm not like a super sweet coffee drinker um, but this is really good. I would actually prefer just making this at home than going out and getting a coffee. Now I'm going to go ahead and just quickly do the dishes. So since my dishwasher was full, I decided to go ahead and just wash all the rest of the dishes by hand. I had my crock pot that I needed to wash and then you guys saw my mess from breakfast that I needed to go ahead and get cleaned up to.
Now I'm going to go ahead and get everything picked up and I'm going to be cleaning my stove and the rest of my stainless steel. I am just using the Wayman stainless steel cleaner and the Method degreaser because as you guys could see, my stove top is just really bad right now. Don't you look at me like that Walking out the door like that Porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. All right, so since my stove was just really bad, I decided to let the product sit on there. That way, it would be a little bit easier to clean it off. Here I'm using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner to clean my countertops. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. It. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down. Now that I have the kitchen and living area all nice and clean, I am going to go ahead and vacuum the rest of the house. that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button i have a new video every wednesday and saturday with tons of cleaning motivation thank you guys so much for being here and i will see you guys in the next one bye Don't Yeah.